it. Hi, this is Sherry. Welcome to Beginning Hatha Yoga. Hope you are all doing well and staying healthy. We'll begin with a little warm up here. Inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, twist to the side, one arm in front, one behind. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, twist to the side. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, twist to the side. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, twist to the side. Inhale, arms overhead. And now come to tabletop position with your fingers spread wide, knees about hip width apart. And then tuck your toes and come into either downward facing dog or puppy pose. Puppy pose is a good modification for downward facing dog. In both poses, you're getting this nice length through the side body. You can feel a release to the underarm. And now come back to tabletop and we'll do a little cat cow. right shoulder, back to center, look over your left shoulder, and back to center, and now come into child's pose. Child's pose is a good resting pose that you can come into any time during your practice. And now come back to tabletop, and step forward into a half squat, palms together, inhale your arms up overhead, exhale, Inhale, exhale, and come into Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Lift your sternum, tuck your chin slightly, rotate your palms forward, open the chest to counteract the car, the couch, the computer. Well, I haven't been in the car much lately, but definitely on the, cou the computer and the couch. <laughs> Reading a lot of good books, so that's the good part. And now bring your feet out wide with your uh, the sides of your feet parallel to the mat. And then bring your arms out. Let the back of your neck be long. And something to keep in mind if you're home and you start to feel anxious about everything that's going on in the world is that when the breath is calm, the mind is calm. So just a few times every day, Tune into your breath. You can slow your breath down. You can feel more calm. And now bring your arms into cactus arms and then rotate your toes out a little bit and we'll come into a squat. And we'll just stay here for a little bit. And then back up. And let's come into another squat. Do a little balancing. Begin to shift all your weight over to the right side, palms together at your heart center, and then lift your other foot onto your calf, never on your knee. Let your branches come up overhead. Find a spot to stare at, it will help you balance. side, palms together, and when you're ready, your foot can come onto your calf, and your branches up overhead. Palms can either be together or apart. Just see what feels best in your body on this day. It's very strengthening for the standing leg, for the muscles and the bones both. to tabletop and go back and forth a couple times 
in cat cow and then come to a seated position cross-legged position inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale and now have your legs out in front of you hook your right knee in keep the left foot flexed sit up really tall and then bring your right hand behind you inhale tall exhale twist a little bit inhale tall exhale twist Bring your gaze back to the front and unwind. And now hug in your left knee. Keep the other foot flexed. Sit up really tall. And then bring your left hand behind you. Inhale tall. Exhale twist. Inhale tall. And make sure you're not over twisting here. This pose massages your internal organs has a very beneficial effect, but over twisting is not good. Bring your gaze back to the front and unwind. Come back to cross-legged. Bring your fingertips to your shoulders. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, twist to the side. Inhale into your belly. Exhale, twist to the side. Inhale into your belly and release. And now for a short pranayama or breath practice, just inhale through the crown of your head. Exhale into your sitting bones. Inhale, crown of your head. Exhale, sitting bones. And just go back and forth on your own breath. And we'll prepare for pranayama now. Or we'll prepare for Shavasana now. We finish the pranayama. And you can continue with that. So for the Shavasana, I'd like to suggest that you use a chair and put your legs up. Just like this. Or you can do the legs up the wall pose. You can even maybe just get a big pillow, put your feet on it. Elevating uh, your legs like that stimulates the immune system. And if you want to do a little aromatherapy at home, lemon scent also stimulates the immune system. So while you're lying and relaxing, I have a quote I'd like to share with you. Do not lose your inner peace for anything whatsoever, even if your whole world seems upset. What? And that's a quote from St. Francis de Sales. So just keep relaxing in your Shavasana on your own. Remember, Shavasana seals in all the benefits of your practice. Thank you, and I hope you have a good week.